This European Parliament is a place of inclusion of all in European society, and you are all most welcome here. I would like to extend a particular warm welcome to the Ukrainian delegation here with us. The challenges that you have overcome to be amongst us are second to none. And I must also say that we support your inclusion in Europe all the way. is a given. But this fifth European Parliament of Persons with Disabilities reminds Europe and the world that for many accessibility is still the exception rather than the norm. One in five Europeans lives with a disability. And this is why platforms like the European Disability Forum are crucial to raise awareness of the issues that we in Europe still need to work on for more fairness. Many struggle for access and inclusion. Too many must go to great lengths for equal rights. The European Union's motto, United in Diversity, means that everyone must have the opportunity to get involved in our European project, the European project of hope and opportunity must be accessible to all. And when we talk about equal rights, we must talk about rights that are actual and real, not just nominal, not just on paper. We must actively include all persons with disabilities in our decision making. And for this, we must remove existing barriers. We must continuously work to guarantee inclusion and equality in line with the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. And this Parliament is working on that. Here, we believe that persons with disabilities have the right to live independently and receive appropriate community-based services. And we will continue to deliver on this. We also want to abolish remaining administrative restrictions that hinder the rights of persons with disabilities. In this spirit, we are eagerly awaiting the Commission's proposal on this year on, a, on an EU-wide European Disability Card. It is high time for mutual recognition of the disability status between Member States. Why are we still not in a situation where that Member States take action to replace substituted voting with supported voting across the EU, because respecting the autonomy of those concerned is important for real inclusion. So I encourage you... Representatives of the European Commission, <coughs> national governments, and international and European partner organizations. Dear colleagues and friends, on behalf of the European Disability Forum, we warmly welcome you all to the fifth European Parliament of Persons with Disabilities. First of all, I would like once again to express our deepest gratitude to the European Parliament and its President for supporting us to co-organize this very crucial, crucial event for the European Disability Movement. I would like also to wholeheartedly thank all EDF members and members of the European Parliament for making this European Parliament of Persons with Disabilities a reality and a historic addition. 
because this, the fifth European Parliament, Thank you. Thank you. 